Good day, world. Happy New Moon Day. Yahua Seventh Biblical Lunar Month ended yesterday at sunset. And today it is a brand new baby call month. It is the first day, which is new moon day, the first day of the eighth biblical month, Hish Van, 6007. And it is here that the count for Yahuwah's Sabbaths for the eighth month begins. And I'm going to do just what Psalms 81 tells us to do. And I'm going to do exactly that. It says, sing unto Yahuwah our strength. Make a joyful shout to the Elohim of Jacob. Raise the song and sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding lyre with the harp. Blow the shofar, ram's horn at the new moon, that's today. Blow the shofar at the time appointed. Blow the shofar, that's today. At the, in the full moon, the day of the solemn feast. For this is a statue for Israel and the law to the Elohim of Jacob. Psalms 81 verse 1 to 4. Verse 5 says, This he established in your shift for a testimony when he went out into the land of Egypt where we heard a language we do not understand. Yes, Yahuwah says we are to blow the shofar, blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the time appointed. And we are to sing unto Yahuwah our strength and make a joyful shout unto the Elohim of Jacob. The new moon is a day of celebration and worship in Israel. Sadly, Israel has forsaken Yahuwah as their Elohim. And his Sabbaths and his, the new moon are no longer observed or celebrated but how grateful we are that Yahuwah the Elohim of secrets are now revealing to us that his Sabbaths and his new moon and the first quarter of the moon and the full moon and the third quarter of the moon and the fourth quarter of the moon are all days of worship. So it says we are to sing unto Yahuwah. Sing unto Yahuwah, for he has done great things, great things. We are off, we are glad. Sing unto Yahuwah, yes. Most
Moses, trying to sing now. Moses saw, Moses saw the bush burning. Moses saw, Moses saw the bush burning. Moses saw, Moses saw the bush burning. Moses saw the bush burning over there. Shining light, shining light in the valley. Shining light, shining light in the wilderness. Shining light, shining light in the valley. Shining light in the valley of a deer. Happy New Moon Day. It has been a beautiful day. We can hear the birds chirping. Yes, birds in the treetops giving praise to Yahuwah. Flowers in the garden bowing down their heads. Malikim singing praises. So why should we not praise Yahuwah? Yes, yeah, so here I am showing us now Yahuwah's Sabbath which falls this is the new moon day these are all the feasts that we had in the seventh biblical lunar month of Tishri and our last Sabbath was yesterday the last Friday Sabbath and now today, which is the 17th on Rome's Gregorian calendar, the new moon day, so the count for Yahuwah's Sabbath begun, begins. And Yahuwah's Sabbath is going to be on Saturday on Rome's Gregorian calendar. I just want to read something from this preparation that this pastor had put together and it is of great benefit to those who are seek in truth because one cannot deny that the entire world is deceived by Rome and the Greeks. You see, Israel is what Yahuwah called a stiff-necked, stubborn people. And Yahuwah has given Israel his laws with a promise that if they would remain faithful, they would be blessed and they would prosper in the land which he gave them, which he gave them and promised to their forefathers. But Israel did no such thing. And if I can look, I'm looking right here, and let's, let's take it in. It says, you must be careful to observe and do every law which I gave you today, so that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land Yahuwah has vowed on all to your fathers. You must remember Yahuwah your Elohim led you all these 40 years in the wilderness in order to humble you, test and prove you, and know what 
was in your heart. The seed of your intelligence to see to see whether you would keep his laws or whether you would not. He humbled you and allow you to hunger and fed you with manner which you did not know which you did not know of nor did your fathers know of it so he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahuwah does man live. It says, your garment did not grow old upon you, nor did your feet swell these forty years. Know then in your heart the seat of intelligence that as a man disciplines his son, in the same way, Yahuwah disciplines you. So you must keep the law of Yahuwah your Elohim by walking in his ways, thereby reverence him. For Yahuwah your father is bringing, in, bringing in you into a rich land, a land of brook, a land of brooks, fountains, spring of flowing waters in the valley and in the hills, a land of wheat and barley, vines, figs, and pangonats, a land of olive oil and honey, a land where you will eat the bread to be full and where you will lack nothing, a land where stones are made of iron and its hills mined of for copper. Yes, this is the great promise that Yahuwah made to Israel. But Israel break stick in their ears as as we old folks would say and did not hearken to Yahuwah and we know the rest of the story Yahuwah sent many prophets to save Israel but Israel continue in their sin Yahuwah went as far as to send Yahusha his son to come and to deliver Israel as it were out of Rome's bondage. But he was, he ended up being betrayed, rejected, and crucified. And here we are today as God's people still being a slave to sin. And so on this new moon day, the beginning of the eighth biblical month, I would urge us to return to the way of Yahuwah. We have been deceived by Rome and the Greeks. And we have been, we have given, we have been given a calendar that it is very difficult to find Yahuwah's Sabbaths because Rome has hidden Yahuwah's Sabbaths and his feast days among the working days of the week and I am here with this 
preparation which says Yahuwah was using his calendar before he gave it to the Israelites through Moses. It's not a Hebrew calendar. It is Yah's calendar. It was used before human existed. It was used from the first day of creation. But its principles of calendation was established on the fourth day. While humans were created on the sixth day. Yahuwah recorded the flood in the time of Noah, it says, using the creation calendation. And we are given Genesis 8 verses 4 8 verses 4 to 14 to read. And if we are interested in truth, we can do just, just that. It says here, this month shall be the beginning of months. It shall be the month of the year for you. The Israelites were commanded to observe Yahuwah's Kalinda at the time of the Passover. The Passover lamb was killed on the 14th, which was observed on the night of the 15th. And of course, the 15th is always the Sabbath of the full moon of the lunar month. Nissan 15, at the full moon, the moon is full 14 days after the new moon. It is, the fifth, it is 15 days old, counting from determining from the sighting of the new moon crescent. The word month originate from the word moon. Exodus 12 verses 1 to 7. All of Yahuwah's holy days are determined from the time of the new moon. The 14th day of the first month at even is Yahuwah's supper. 14 days from the new moon, the tenth of the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. And we had that a few weeks ago. And we saw the sign of the moon and the glory that Yahuwah showed to mark that day. The tenth day from the new moon, Meaning the time you meaning the time you observe the first siver blow the shofar in the new moon. It is the same, it is the time appointed on our solemn feast. The Israelites are recognized the beginning of each new month. Yes, it says the Israelites recognize the beginning of each new month, the new moon, by observing it, not calculating it. 1 Samuel 20, verses 24 to 27. I leave us to find that for ourselves. But... It says, on the Sabbath of the new moon, for the set feast, 
the southern tribes of the children of Judah returned after seven years of Babylonian captivity or exile, all the Israelites, all the observances were restored. The new moon at the set feast of Yahuwah. Ezra 3 verse 1 to 6. I'm going to look at it. I just want to see what it says. Ezra Ezra 3. Let me take a look. Genesis and Exodus. Ezra. Ezra 3. Let me look. Ezra. Ezra. How it, where do that do where do we find Ezra? Nehemiah Esther Job. Ezra. Where is Ezra? Ezra, how much? Ezra 3, 1 to 6. Let's see this. That should be interesting. Ezra 3, 1 to 6. Shining light, shining light. 3, 1 to 6. Okay. It says, let's read together. When the seventh moon came, after the children of Israel settled in their cities, the people gathered together. As, a, as one body, congregation at Jerusalem. Then Yahusha, son of Yazak, Yazadak, the son, the son, I'm going to read it again. Then Yahusha, son of Yazadak, and his brothers, the priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Shil Shalitan Pedaiah, and his associate, oh, and his associate rose up and built an altar to Father Yahuwah to sacrifice burnt offerings on it, as it is written in the law. Given through Moses, the man of Yahuwah. Though they were afraid of the people around them, they built the altar on the base and sacrificed the burnt offering to Yahuwah on the morning and the evening timid. The Continual daily burnt offerings. V verse 4. Let's see. Oh, it's to 6. In the seventh moon, which is month, they also keep the Feast of Tabernacles. That was what we have right over here, the Feast of Tabernacles. They also keep the Feast of Tabernacles. And, the, and in accordance with what is written, they offered and ordained numbers of burnt offering prescribed for each day. And afterward, in addition, they offered the continual offering of the Tamid, the offering of for the Sabbath, see, I'm pointing on it. The offering for the Sabbath, the new moon, for all the holy feasts of Yahuwah. And for, and, and for all who brought a free will offering to Yahuwah. From the first day of the seventh moon, they began to sacrifice burnt offering to Yahuwah, even though the foundation of the house of Yahuwah had not been laid. And so for those of us who doubt that the new moon is a worship day just like the Sabbath, it is in the word of Yahuwah. 
But of course, Christianity and Rome does not care about obeying Yahuwah. Their entire aim is to replace Yahuwah and to receive worship for themselves and their master God Riel, who is called Satan and the devil. I think I've spoken enough. <laughs> I may have done more than I should because I just wanted to show us the dates for Yahuwah's Sabbath, which are marked on Rome's Gal Gregorian calendar, which is on Saturday for four weeks. Yes, New Moon Day. The Sabbath of the 8th, which is the first quarter of the moon. The 15th, which is the Sabbath of the full moon. And up here we have Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon and the 29th. So, for a long time, we believed, like I did, that Saturday was Yahuwah's Sabbath. But, sadly, it's not. And the fact is that this was purposely done by Rome, beginning with Constantine of Rome. And beyond that as well, it is Yahuwah who allow that to be to happen because Israel had gone into idolatry and Yahuwah did not want a sinful nation to be associated with his holy Sabbath and his holy feast days. So he took it away. And I did not know that until recently. And it is here in the book of Lamentation. It is here. It is here. Hallelujah. Hear him call out his name. He is here. Hallelujah. And you will never, never be the same. Oh, this is Lamentation. This is, this is Jeremiah. I need to see Lamentation because it is all written here. All right, read, for, read with me now. How Yahuwah covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud of his anger. He has thrown down from heaven to earth the glory of Israel. And he had remembered and did not remember his footstool in the day of his anger. Yahuwah has swallowed up the inhabitants of Jacob and has not spared. In his wrath he has thrown down the fortress of the daughters of Judah. He has brought them down to the ground. He has polluted the kingdom of the kingdom of the princes, the princes. In fierce anger, he has cut off every horn. Strength, pride of Israel. He has withdrawn his right hand at the approach of the enemy. He has burned against Jacob like a flaming fire. He devoured on every side. He bent his bow like an enemy. His right hand was prepared like an adversary. He slain all who were pleasing in the eyes of the tabernacle of the daughters of Zion. He has poured out his fury. Yahuwah was like an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He has swallowed up her palaces. He has destroyed her fortresses 
and has increased mourning and lamentation in the daughters of Judah. He has laid waste the tabernacles as it, if it were a garden. He has destroyed his place of the congregation. Yahuwah has caused the appointed feast and the Sabbaths to be forgotten in Zion. In the ignition of his anger, he has despised the king and the priest. Verse 7 says, Yahuwah has rejected his altar. He has abhorred his sanctuary. He gave over to the enemy the walls of her palaces. They have made a noise in the house of Yahuwah as though it was an appointed feast. Yahuwah planned to destroy the walls of the daughters of Zion. He has stretched out a line. He has not withdrawn his hand from destruction. He has made a rampart and wail lament together. Together they languish. So, Yahuwah our Elohim has caused his Sabbaths and his feasts to be forgotten in Zion. No wonder until this day Israel still cannot recognize the Sabbath because it was done by Yahuwah himself. All right, I think I've done the job. I think you now know that this is the new moon day of the eighth biblical month. And the new month, the eighth month has begun. And the count for Yahuwah Sabbath has begun. So let us remember Yahuwah Sabbath day to keep it holy. Let us please him so that he can cause us to eat the good of the land and to restore to us what has been taken away from us because of our disobedience. Happy New Moon Day. Remember to keep the feast of Yahuwah. Israel did and you, we all should as well. Shalom. Shalom.